Good morning. Right, okay, as you may have guessed, this is like the 15th time I've done this. But right, what we're going to do is, as per the, the title, um, using four monitors on ETS2 and ATS. Uh, now, the reason why I'm doing this is I found a couple of people using four monitors and the instructions they gave um, however they were correct um, reasonably thorough they were more for the people who knew exactly what they were doing as far as um, altering uh, files and whatnot in your config file and what I've done is a more basic way of doing it and the way I've I found it easy to do once I had sussed out what they had um, what they had done. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, the, the thing was they kept on saying you have to um, modify or uh, get a program, uh, a file called Multimon Config. Now, I went online so many times trying to suss out what Multimon config was. Now, the long and the short of it was, was people were saying, yeah, you need this file for doing more than three monitors or more than two monitors or whatever. And I was like, okay, yeah, but where is it? Because I don't have it, you know? And nobody really explained why. Um, there's a couple of people that um, as I say covered a little bit of that but basically um, the apparently although it didn't happen for me when you alter the main config file which is always there um, for, um, in the command multimon and it normally says zero now that would indicate um, that you've not modified your screens or anything like that that's what i got from it whether that's an accurate assessment or not i don't i you know it's just my assessment of it um whereas if you change that to four it implies that you are using four monitors now or at least that's what i believed so what i did was i altered that to four now the 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 instructions were that once you alter that and you save it you come out of the program you go into the game it should generate the multimon config SII file now I didn't try that what I was trying is a shortcut because I'm impatient so what I did was I actually um, uh, copy and pasted an SII file that was already there, right? Copied, pasted outside of the, the program. I'll go through this um, with video in a second. Um, and then altered the contents and the title of that SII file to, surprise, surprise, Multimon config. SI, uh, SII file and then just copied the um, contents of a uh, file which I'd found on many sites of their interpretation on how they, they wanted their monitors set up because that's the real tricky bit at the end of the day what I found. Okay here is the my four screens uh, that I use for the truck sim or well, five if you include the one on the uh, mon uh, on the uh, wheelbase now i use obviously the fifth one for sim hub and sim hub's a pretty good bit of software i found it glitchy with my main system but my my, my main system's got sli and i think euro truck doesn't do well with sli it tends to um yeah, get the normal glitches that come with 
uh, non-optimized uh, games. So, so anyway, there we go. There's the there's the five monitors. So first and foremost, what you want to do is you want to go into this PC, My Documents, where you'll find. Hang on, let's just zoom that in a little bit. Oh, not zoom out. We want to zoom in. And let's get it right. Okay, sorry for the jiggery pokery. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go into My Documents, Euro Truck Simulator 2. Okay, and then you come into this, which has got your profiles and all the rest of it. As you can see, I've already opened the config file uh, with when you go open it, it will ask you uh, open with and it will bring up the the box you know with the Windows or Microsoft Marketplace uh, there's be a little drop down a little arrow saying others uh, you drop that down and you, you generally go with notepad or some other guys use Notepad++, Notepad++ which is a great little program. I've got it on another computer but not on this one so this is just the basic. Okay so as you come down here as you open that it'll open this if you open it in Notepad. Okay so let's just reduce that one down for now. Okay and then as we scroll down here It'll have multi mon multi mon mode. You see this one here, and I've put in there four. Originally, it says zero. Okay, it says zero, but I've put four in there for four monitors. Okay. Now, apparently, when you close that, save it and then just open up the game again and then come out of it again it will save and create this one here which is Multimon config say for argument's sake I don't have the Multimon because I've, got it, I've, I've taken it out of the, the folder I've put it here okay so I don't have it in the thing so uh, in the, 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 the truck, Euro Truck Sim folder so then I just found an SII file and for argument's sake this one says mods underscore info then what I did was I I copied copied that then paste it and you can actually see it says mods underscore info copy now but what we want is multi-mon config so what we did what I did was rename multi-mon oh for god's sake don't you hate it when you're trying to do everything at multi-mon professional eh? config yeah so what we got there is multimon config right but the contents of it is not correct so the contents is this malarkey right we don't want any of that because it will just confuse matters so what I did was I just deleted it okay then what I did is I went to I went E T S two four monitors yeah okay now what happens is you got a couple of them I can't remember which ones which actually let's go for that one oh yeah okay so 
here we got four quad monitor support Euro Truck Simulator 2 General. Okay, it will come up in Steam if you've got a Steam login, all well and good, but you don't really need it. Because all I did then was I copied all of this script, right? Obviously, nothing more than that. Click copy, reduce that down, go in here, paste it. Okay, this is super wide. Why has it done that? Oh, I don't know why. Okay, go like that, go save. Okay, so then we got a multimong config SII file. Da da! It worked. Apparently, I'm parked up in Belfast, which is really cool. Um, so I've got all four monitors going. Uh, I had a bit of a glitch. The uh, sim sim hub didn't start up straight away, but then again, I, I know that that can be an issue. So there's no way to auto drive this, so I might just try and position. Well, this is going to be tricky. I position the the stand so you can see what's going on. So, so what we got here is um, you'll see the the sort of squished aspect that I've got. But if I go from my left to right, yeah, you can see that it's reasonably good, actually. You know, it's it's not too bad. So. But as you drive out, you'll see. Let's go in reverse. I got the um, sound turned down. I switch off the wipers, as you may have guessed. It was Belfast, so it was raining. Okay, you can already see it, or I can already see it. Squished, not so squished, squished, not so squished, and it is. Especially in towns, as I was saying, you need a, a really good uh, graphics card for this because the the amount of graphics is is you can really sort of um, it's a lot of rendering. It's a lot of rendering, but this this seems to work quite well actually. Get out somewhere that's sort of okay. So what I what I find is when I come to turn either left or right, not so much on a carriageway like this, but somewhere where you know you're you're sort of everything's pretty close up. You sort of you get like this warping and everything moving so fast it can can be uh, disorientating but uh, at the end of the day you know unless somebody comes up with uh, you know the correct um, aspect for it or the game if it even has it then uh, it is just it is what it is okay I'm gonna run out of room there because uh, that yeah. yeah I'll run out of road there so what I'm going to do is just go around a circle, give you an idea. Um, the other thing I'd, I'd like to just say is, uh, even though this game's been going for quite a while, Euro Truck Simulator, same with American Truck Simulator, I've heard people say, oh no, it's about time they brought out a new one, blah, 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 this, that and the other. But at the end of the Christ, that's dark. Why is that so dark? Um, oh, for crying out loud! At the end of the day, the um, you got the unless unless you're on this like eight hours a day, three or four days a week, you're not going to get through all of this game with all the roads and do all the uh, deliveries. You know, and the the variations is incredible. Yes, I think certain aspects of it could be upgraded, but the fact that they're adding to it makes it so it can, you can do what like you've got here. How many games do you know 
can run four monitors in this kind of in this kind of uh, view. I can't think of one, you know, other than this one in, in American Truck Simulator. So in my eyes, the way they've made it, so it is. Uh, providing you're clever enough you can uh, change the views you can have it as a full full blown full blown simulator with um, you know having to use uh, splitters and stuff like that I'm gonna get a red light again aren't I? no I'm just gonna I'm gonna bum rush it yeah uh, 700 700 euros for going through a red light why Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just drive down here a little bit. I can only do 15 minute video, I just thought of that. Um, no matter. Uh, we've got a ferry down there. Okay, I can't do that. Um, so we can do 64. You can hear my computer starting to spin up now actually I've never even heard that before purely because I've always had the music going and whatnot the radio station or you know let's go down there let's go and have a look at the it'll only be you know employment hire personage place <laughs> Uh, it's still pretty dark, though. that's the thing, mind you, I am in Belfast, so what do you expect? Yeah. Incidentally, some of my family are originally from, not Belfast, but this neck of the woods, Northern Ireland. And, uh, okay, recruitment agency coming up. Hey, thank you very much, thank you very much. I hope that helped. This is not like an instruction how to, it's just to show you how I managed to do it after having uh, multiple uh, times of it not, well I couldn't find the correct information. Well not, not really the correct information but how, how to do it in layman's terms, you know, and somebody who doesn't have, you know, a, a gr massive understanding of, you know, file systems and stuff like that. Being able to copy and paste files, yes. You have to know how to do that. You also have to, you know, um, do basic things like create a file. But I think most people who are going to try and tackle this four monitor setup, you're going to have to have that. But that's, you know, that's that. I hope this um, really helps uh, because I know if I found this, uh, if I had found this, say, uh, six months ago, I'd have been up and running six months ago. The only thing, if anybody watches this and says, look, I've got a fix for the aspect, um, then please um, add it in a comment. Uh, I'd really appreciate it because although I, uh, I really enjoy what's going on, it's just one of them little things. It does kind of niggle me a little bit. But at the end of the day, I, th I you know, it's it's a great immersive way to play the game. Okay, that's about it. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. I know I'm not a a, <laughs> a real YouTuber like, like as, as some of the guys out there who do this for a living. Um, but I just do this to hopefully help the people who are in the same situation that I was a month or so ago. Alrighty, so take care and uh, keep on trucking.